Cloud computing is absolutely a winner. And perhaps the most significant benefit is the restructuring of the compute environments for the business world. Cloud computing is a winner because there are no major capital expenditures, because it is utility-based expenses, because it reduces demand for IT personnel, and it allows for a focus on business. But after recognizing the importance of cloud computing, I want to demonstrate a significant difference between cloud computing and big data computing. It is important to understand these differences. The architecture for cloud computing is built on nearly the same hardware as big data. From a hardware view, it can be indistinguishable, but there's a very significant difference in software architecture. Cloud computing is designed for a single server to offer enough hardware resources to support multiple pseudo computers. We call these virtual machines. Each virtual machine is a fully functional computer, but the hardware is simulated in software. This means a virtual machine is actually an additional layer removed from the actual hardware. We identify this layer as the hypervisor, the purpose of which allows the sharing of the operating system and the hardware. Now this works great for standing up hundreds of independent computing environments, and many, many organizations have successfully moved in this direction. Clouds of virtual machines are not part of a design principles for big data. Deploying a big data solution into a cloud of virtual machine adds complexity. It adds CPU and I.O. burden, and it over time adds a tremendous number of dollars. Additionally, big data in the cloud also introduces unpredictability in performance. The core issue with clouds of VM data nodes is it violates the design principle of share nothing. When a job executes in a Hadoop cluster, the same job is sent to hundreds if not thousands of data nodes in parallel. They all arrive at the same time and they all begin to execute. Each job demands full resource of the CPU and I.O. If multiple VM data nodes are shared on the same hypervisor, this means the underlying CPU and I.O. is intensely resource bound. This results in very uneven performance of the data nodes as a single data node can assume much of the resource of a CPU and I.O., leaving other data nodes in a waiting for resource state. However, the deployment of a Hadoop into a cloud is common practice and has distinct advantages. The global architects just need to well understand the trade-offs they are making by adding the additional complexity of the VM data nodes. The best reasons for using clouds of VM data nodes include elastic computing, the ability to expand and contract as needed, delivering scalability on demand. Rapid time to market, the capability to build and to deploy solutions in hours. Obviously, the fact that there's no initial capital expenditure. You absolutely pay for what you use as you use it. And one of the best advantages is the rapid changes in environment. It's tremendously flexible. And some organizations, such as Netflix and the CIA, are very successful running big data clusters in a cloud solution. Let me also point out, the suppliers of cloud computing for big data continue to make all types of improvements. Hadoop in the clouds is a great place to start. But generally, truly large-scale solutions will always be built on bare iron.